Hi, I'm Allie Sealander with UTD Geo News, and today I'd like to tell you about a violent volcanic eruption and tsunami that happened in the southwest Pacific Island Kingdom of Tonga. Residents of the capital city, Nuku'alofa, were not terribly surprised on Friday, January 14th, when a volcano about 40 miles away erupted violently, sending a plume of ash high into the sky. They knew that the volcano had been waking up and had already erupted five times since 1912. This is just one of many volcanoes in what geologists call the Tonga Kermadec Island Arc, formed as a result of subduction of the Pacific Plate westward beneath the Australian Plate. The Tonga Kermadec Arc is part of the Circumpacific Ring of Fire and can be traced for almost 2,000 miles northwards from New Zealand through the island kingdom of Tonga almost to Samoa. The southernmost part of the arc is the spectacular Taupo Volcanic Zone of New Zealand and the arc continues north with the first volcanic island, White Island, near the city of Auckland. A small eruption of the White Island volcano in December of 2019 killed 22 tourists, showing just how active and dangerous these volcanoes can be. The arc continues north through the Kermadec Arc, which has 30 or so volcanoes, only a few of which are tall enough to rise above sea level as islands. North of these is the Tonga Arc, with many more submarine and island volcanoes. Some of these are where people of the Kingdom of Tonga live. The kingdom extends for almost 500 miles along the northern part of the Tonga Kermadec Arc, but the kingdom is mostly Pacific Ocean, not land. It consists of 169 small islands, where about 100,000 people live on 36 of them. The erupting volcano in the news is called the Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai after the two islands that mark its summit. Volcanoes can erupt quietly, like those now going on in Hawaii, or violently, and arc volcanoes like White Island and Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai are the most violent. This is because arc magmas contain a lot of water, which expands rapidly as the magma rises to cause violent eruptions, like what happens with Mentos and Diet Coke, only unimaginably hotter. Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai volcano is about 40 miles north of Nuku'alofa, where most Tongans live. It was no surprise that it erupted, but the violence of the eruption and the tsunami it caused were surprising. The eruption sent a huge mushroom cloud of ash 12 miles high into the sky, twice as high as jet airliners fly. A lot of ash rained down on Nuku'alofa. Satellite images provide amazing views of how this ash cloud quickly mushroomed. But this eruption also caused a tsunami. How did that happen? Tsunamis are created when large amounts of water in the ocean, a bay, or even a lake are quickly displaced, usually by earthquakes. That's what caused the 2011 tsunami in Japan that killed 20,000 people. But explosive underwater eruptions can also move a lot of water and make a tsunami. That's what happened in 1883, when Krakatoa in Indonesia erupted so violently that it collapsed into the sea, creating a 37-meter tsunami as tall as a six-story building. The Krakatoa tsunami destroyed 300 coastal villages and towns, killing an estimated 86,000 people. Fortunately for the people of Nuku'alofa, the tsunami wave only was about four feet high. This still damaged a lot of houses and shops in Nuku'alofa, though, and spread damage throughout the Pacific, causing small tsunamis and damage along all of these coastal regions. I hope you enjoyed learning more about the Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai eruption and tsunami. I'm Allie Sealander with UTD Geo News, and I'll see you next time.